Hi, it's Mitz from My Life Mitz. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today I want to do a flip through of my journal. It's completed. It's just one big insert and I thought I would share with you a flip through of the journal. I'm using it in my Narita edition, airport edition traveler's notebook. And if you're in Japan, uh, you can only purchase it at the Narita traveler's factory shop. If you're overseas, I believe you can, there are resellers that sell them on eBay and on Etsy, I believe. So this is the insert that comes with the regular uh, Traveler's Notebook from Narita. And so let's jump right in. Here is a picture of my daughter and I just used um, some magazine paper as the back. I think this is some kind of advertisement, maybe like home goods or something. Um, but anyways, I just stuck that on there. This is left blank. You'll see these tabs. These tabs are from Courtney. From Courtney Diaz Little Raven Ink and you'll see some like collage bits and things from other artists as well and I'll mention uh, them when I flip through the pages. This one I did a journal with me session. I will leave the link down below and it's just a weekend like a road trip. We went to Yamanakako and yeah lots of fun and color. <laughs> uh, this sticker I believe is from Little Rainbow Moon from Etsy. This is just a quote and some collaged bits of Happy Mail. This one also I did a journal with me session and uh, this is when it snowed. I absolutely love snow. And this is from Job, Job's journal. I like to cut out uh, photos of my kids like this. It's <laughs> really cute. You'll notice it happening like here too. I like to cut them out. Um, so there's Little Rainbow Moon here. This is Little Raven Ink. Uh, also Courtney as well and from Job's journal. These two pieces actually I printed um, the collage sheets and then it, it got cut off but it actually turned out perfectly for this photo of my daughter. These little stickers here are from Tim Holtz. And this one here is from Documented Journey, Brie. This is from her collage sheets and this is another one of Courtney's. Just ephemera bits and stickers from like friends. Uh, <laughs> uh, these, these ones here are from Eva. And this one is from Char. This is just some uh, old, I believe old, uh, what is it called? Wallpaper. And it's, it's so neat. So um, I won one of her journals in a giveaway and she included some wallpaper bits as well. So I stuck that. Um, just some packaging from uh, Happy Mail, and also uh, this one is from Paper Paya, I think that's how you say it, on Instagram, and she makes her own stamps, and she uses them on Happy Mail, and she makes stickers out of them, I think it's really, really neat, um, so there's that, just some pictures, this is from, this, these pictures are from uh, the meetup that we had, and just um, like here, this is looks like washi tape, but it's just some paper from I think a magazine or something. Uh, so I like to add little bits and pieces from um, magazines and uh, Happy Mail. This is when I met Eva. She's the one that uh, gave me the, these little ephemera bits and things. Uh, stickers from Heidi. I will leave a link to all the people that I mentioned down below. And this one here, this is actually during the meetup. I think I mentioned this in my other flip through video, um, but it's upside down. But anyways, it's still really, really nice. Actually, now that I see this page, I remember that I did like a flip through. So maybe I shouldn't spend too much time on these pages. Um, yeah, maybe I'll show you more of the pages. Oh, actually, I, I don't know if I did like an update. I ended up sticking some clear packing tape on top of these petals, these sakura petals, you can see there, just so that uh, they don't get lost. I still have to do my journaling here. But, yeah, I don't remember where I last left off. I don't remember where I last left off, but maybe I'll just start from here. This pack, this 
piece of paper is from packaging I mentioned in my Hobonichi Techo flip through I created this uh, pouch for like a book bo book bag for my son for his school and so this is the fabric that I used and this is actually um, an envelope <laughs> from Maria oh lovely cute so I have that stuck in stuck that stuck her letter in there oh my gosh I'm so sorry <laughs> my mouth is full of marbles today uh, more collage bits from Courtney and yeah just like collaging and sticking different layers of paper on top of each other I think it's a lot of fun um, some happy mail I need to use better washi tape here I'm trying to use up all of my like um, I don't know if you watch like the D stash I'm trying to use up some of the older washi tape uh, but yeah, this one actually says search for your wind of change in Russian that's so neat <laughs> And this is, I don't know if you can tell, really tell, but it's actually a road and it's like packing tape, but it's um, in, like, it looks like a road. So I received it from Life at 30 something. This is the actual packaging of the tape. It's called design tape and you can roll this tape and make your own road. It's so neat. My son loves it. Um, we have it uh, rolled on these like really big boxes and yeah it's just a lot of fun so thank you for that just some happy mail and once again more of that uh, wrapping paper from Char and I purchased a um, jewelry piece from Majuri this one actually here I saw I don't know some of you might follow Claire um, she's not really like a stationary, uh, she's not really a stationary blogger or anything like that. She's more of like a fashion type, uh, fly, fashion makeup uh, guru. But she had her own line of like, I think it was called Edged. And I received an email saying that it was, that her line was just, is going to be discontinued or finished. But um, I was looking for a ring. Sorry, this is going to, I'm just like rambling. I was looking for a ring because my wedding ring is quite big, like it's, uh, I lost like seven kilograms since moving to Japan and you can see like how I don't know if you can really see that like there's like a huge gap there um, and so I needed a ring to kind of keep it uh, safe I suppose because sometimes especially in the winter when my hands were cold like I like it would kind of slide down and I would, I would be so afraid like I always have my finger like this my thumb here so that it wouldn't fall off <clears throat> excuse me but anyways so that's that's the packaging from that and then this one is so pretty this is from Courtney I actually en ended up meeting with her when she came to visit Japan it was so lovely um, she drew this during the like while we were there for lunch and I just uh, it's amazing you see that so so nice um, I have the little like uh, I journaled about it in my travel um, in my Hobonichi Techo so I'll have to show you that on another flip through this is from Peppercon Arts and also it's in my Hobonichi Techo so I'll have to show that to you when I do my flip through these lovely postcards are from my decorated mess uh, my the um, and then these lovely postcards are from my friend uh, Mia, my decorated mess, I believe, on Instagram. And once again, another collage bit from Courtney. This one is from Eugen as well, the same lady that did uh, this one here. And this one she also hand carved. Home is where our story begins. And you can see here, even on the back, I, I thought it was like too plain, so I just used like the what is it called? The pickup slip? You know when the mailman drops off a pickup slip or like a drop off when you're not home? <laughs> I just stuck that in there as a background. I do, these ones are so cute, these photos. I want to get more of these um, sticker... I don't know what they're called. I, I purchased like a s stationary pack and these were included in there. If I can remember, I'll have to uh, bring it out again. But I use them all, but I really like the size. They're nice and small. You can just print them from your phone to the printer. This is another idea from uh, Courtney Diaz, Little Raven Ink. Um, she has many of these 
make these acetate type of uh, what are these called borders but I don't have acetate so I just use regular packing like you can see there and uh, yeah I cut it out I just stick my photos of my kids in there they're kind of like floating and I can always interchange them out whenever I feel like it I just have it tucked back here the clip and I just like how the color is peeking through the watercolor this is another postcard this one I believe is from Kenry from uh, Connie I oh, know this is another beautiful postcard from my friend from Kenry on Instagram a leather quill shop business card um, oh I have to do a video about sharing with you my I guess my latest planner setups. <laughs> I'm using a different planner right now, and I'm using the the leather cover from Leather Quill Shop in my A, in the A5 size. Another one of Courtney Diaz. Uh, one from Heidi here. Just some watercolor. Another one of these uh, wallpaper bits from Char. This one is a cute postcard from Heidi, and she sent me some bits. And um, this is Eva. I just have that tucked in there. I received a lovely package of like uh, stamp bits and ephemera bits. And I just thought this was so neat. I decided to, um, you can see here, I don't know if you can tell, but this is like from the stamp, I don't know what you would call this, the uh, leftover from the stamp. <laughs> Um, but somebody sent me, uh, I don't remember their name, and I'm so sorry, I think it was Dimby. She sent me a whole bunch of these really, really pretty ones from the Netherlands, and I stuck them in here, and because the shape is still kind of intact, I decided to stick my son's photo in the back there. The kids in their pajamas. <laughs> More um, Happy Mail and ephemera things. This one is from the leather quill shop. It was part of the packaging. This one is, <laughs> I had to put it in there. It's from Iris, uh, from Peaky. Peaky4 on Instagram. There's gonna be so many <laughs> people listed down below in the description. But she sent me a really, really lovely package. Um, and they had several of these Trader Joe's instant coffee. And I love instant coffee, so. <laughs> Um, I had to stick that in there and then I believe these last pages I just I wanted to finish this so badly so I just ended up drawing uh, or writing out a whole bunch of quotes um, yeah so here are some of the quotes you can see there hopefully you can read my writing and I just used a simple brush pen that I got from the dollar store so let's read one of them. Happiness does not come from doing easy work, but from the afterglow of the satisfaction that comes after the achievement of a difficult task that demanded our best. Real generosity is doing something nice for someone who will never find out. Oh, that's a good one. <laughs> and yeah, I might uh, write something here, or I might write another quote, or just stick some you know, bits and pieces of photos and things in the last bits of the pages or I might just leave it as is but that's the flip through I hope you enjoyed this video hopefully it wasn't too long um, my apologies for all the little rambly bits here and there but I just like to share with you I love love looking at flip through videos I love looking at how people fill out their journal pages it's just for me anyways it's very very inspiring I get a lot of ideas from looking at other people's pages and see how they journal so I really I do appreciate people that do share their journal pages uh, on YouTube. So I thought I would do the same. And I think for the next journal, I'm going to try a different size. Um, I still need to finish a couple of my travel journals in the regular standard size. Um, I'm working on a travel journal from Hawaii from this winter and um, also from this past golden week. Golden Week is kind of like a spring break type of thing here in Japan, so I have two travel journals. I think I might just put them into one or... Anyways, we'll see. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you so, so much for sticking by, and I will see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.